I'm standing in the middle of the field of our Youth with a Mission campus here in St. Mark, Haiti. Let us introduce it to you. I'm going to give you a 360 degree view, starting with the gates. Right down here is our entrance gate. To the right of the gate is our main building where we have the cafeteria and kitchen. Welcome to our cafeteria. In this cafeteria, we can feed over 200 people. We also host things like wedding receptions and other things that would normally, normally be unaffordable for the average new couple that's getting started. We also have a room in the back that we use for conferences, for seminars, and for other training purposes. To the left is the offices. Hi, this is the office. Uh, this is our staff work center located uh, in the central part of the office. We have computers here available for our staff to communicate to the world as well as do their own newsletters and do their own printing. On the back through here is our other offices where we have a conference center as well as our secretary at work planning our outreaches and our different types of ministry. On the second floor are the guys and girls dorms. Right now we're at the dorm and this is the central area. We have the girls dorm on the left here and the guys dorm on the right. Inside we have military style bunks, three high bunks so that we can put as many people in as possible. We can house as many as 120 short-term missionaries in this facility. To the right of the cafeteria, through the alley, you can't see it, but behind there is our evangelistic arena. Hi, here we are at our evangelistic sports arena. In this arena, we can have basketball tournaments, we can have concerts, we can have crusades or evangelistic gatherings. One like we just had last week. <laughs> In this arena, we have bathrooms in the far side, we have an open field, and we have stadium seating. We have been able to fit as many as 6,000 people inside this acre and a half arena. Continuing on, we have our classrooms of our Liberty Academy School, which hosts kids from preschool to seventh grade. Here we are in front of Liberty Academy, our school here in St. Mark Haiti. We have six classrooms and we have classes starting at preschool going all the way to seventh grade. We also have in this school a library and a computer work center. Next to that comes the pool. It has been such a blessing to have a pool. It is our main recreation focal point for our staff and the children. Our house is right next to that. It's a duplex. Here we are in front of our home, our residential home. This is ours on this side. It's a duplex, as Ingville said. And on the other side is where our my sister and brother-in-law live, Freeman and Shelley Nettles. Continue on, we will see two long buildings. Right here is our residential staff area. Refreshment is important for our staff because we really do put out a lot every day and the challenges of living in a poor nation with people asking and begging all day long can be stressful. So a good residential place, uh, a little oasis away from the storms is very important to all of our staff and our family. Next to that is the building for our discipleship training school. It's the beginnings of a big facility. This is our training center. It will not only serve to host our discipleship training school that happens yearly, but it will also be able to host seminars and other training programs. It is almost complete. All we're lacking is the floor. We're going to be hooking up satellite and internet connections, allowing us to zoom in speakers from other nations to train our people right here in the mission field. But not only that, we hope to zoom out through video conferencing teachings and experience that we have had working right here and seeing transformation come about in this city of St. Mark. Our circle almost complete. In the corner over here we have our tool depot where all of our tools are stored. 
Okay, here we're right in front of our work center. Our depot, our tool depot is behind me. And then we have a rows of trailers. And in these trailers, we keep supplies. And many times the city will be in need and we'll have the supplies that people are looking for. That will help us mobilize to meet heartfelt needs in a very rapid situation.